Yes, fuck off, Leicester. <laughs> I hate Leicester now, you know. I can't be arsed with them, so I'm made up that we beat them. The Tory-loving, poverty-mocking weirdos. Uh, we had to win tonight, Andy, and we have. Yeah, it was a, it was one of those games around 60, 70 minutes. We started to get really nervous. It was 1-0. It was a little bit bitty. And we did seem to dominate the vast majority of the game. But you always had that feeling they would get a chance. And we weren't having many uh, sort of clear-cut chances ourselves as much as the general play seemed to be um, fairly good. But I feel like for the first time this season, we've got some sort of genuine momentum about us. You know, yeah. I had a look at it last month and we were, well, it was eight points. And then we, we closed the gap to six points. Um, and it looked like we needed like a real catalyst, some real momentum uh, for any way that we could supersede this Manchester City side and the, the absolute machine that it's become. And you look at it now, you've got the, the sign of Diaz, the return of Elliot, the return of Thiago, the return of the African lads as well. And for the first time this season, we have like a genuine, tangible momentum going into this title race. And we're going to need that if we're going to supersede this team. We're going to need that if we're going to claw back six points. But performances like tonight, digging in, getting the result, and going to a good Leicester City side, uh, will go a long way to doing that. Yeah, it's one of them nights in it, Kev, where you almost enjoy the, the graft as much as yeah. anything else, because we had to graft tonight, and they did graft. Diaz grafted his balls off, but also showed real quality, nearly scored a beauty. But I mean, I enjoyed, you definitely enjoyed as well, <laughs> that, that tackle he puts in on the edge of, yeah. our, of the box. Because you're like, when I saw him, I don't know about you, mate, when, when I saw him and saw him and was made up, obviously, but I thought, he looks a bit scrawny, he might need a fucking pan of scouts down him. <laughs> he definitely but doesn't. He's all right, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He, he, lo- he loves the physical side of it. Yeah, and that's exactly what you need in the Premier League, isn't it? And uh, tonight they all did that, didn't he? Thiago's only, he's, he's tiny, anybody fucking loves a battle, oh, yeah. don't he? Diaz was, I thought, that was the first time I've seen him, that fucking brilliant, absolutely, absolutely belter of a sign, and as you said, it's not just the nice skills and the, the fact that he's fast as fuck, it's the fact that he'll, he'll put himself right in there, no problems at all, and he's already, there's like two or three players, thought with Jota and with uh, Andy Robertson, it was notable, he's already got a little synergy going with them, do you know what I mean, yeah. there was little passes coming off where you thought, oh he's just done a little bit too much there, but it worked because they knew what he was doing, and vice versa as looks well. Looks like he's been here for ages. That, that's it. So yeah. when you when a player comes in like that, Klopp said, didn't he? It'd be weird if he come in and just hit the ground running straight away. But he has. But he, yeah, he sort yeah. of has. So that would suggest that his level is wow. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's, yeah, it's yeah. going to be at the point where you're thinking, fucking hell. That's it. That's what's exciting about Diaz, isn't it? Because he's come straight in. Um, he was really unlucky not to score tonight. Yeah. He, he gets a standing ovation going off. Everyone's happy with him. Everyone's made up with him. But also... Like Kev says, when he has had this sort of acclimatisation period and when he can get used to what his teammates are doing, well, there'll be another bit that, you know, he'll, he'll kick on even more. To the point now where I'm actually thinking, as I'm saying this, I sort of presumed that Sadio just comes back in. But Sadio might not just come back in, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, no, there's loads of options there for those front uh, three or four positions, depending on what we want to play now. And I think the thing that impressed me most in the first half of with Diaz tonight was it can be tempting, especially like um, on your your full Anfield debut as a winger as well. That kind of position, you know, you want to take on a few players, get the fans on their feet. Um, but he sort of really fitted into that sort of possession style of football that we have, and um, just recycling the ball, playing the sensible pass the way we always see Salah do, we always see Mane do when they don't have something on. And I thought he, he showed a real sort of maturity about his game tonight. And he's a lot bigger than what I thought. I didn't realize. Yeah, he's, he's an absolute sort of, unit, isn't he? He's a unit. He's a really physical lad. I really enjoyed. You know, there were a couple of times I think they thought. You know, a you know a Colombian lad coming from the Portuguese league. Let's rattle him up a little bit tonight. You yeah. know, your typical physical English. Um, well, his his nickname's Noodle because yeah. he's meant to be dead skinny. Yeah. I mean, fucking hell, what are the noodles that eat in Colombia? <laughs> 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 fucking massive, aren't they? Um, but yeah, they're, 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 as I said, a few times tonight they really tried to bully him off. But I, I think they realised, like 15, 20 minutes in, they were getting no joy out of that side of the game. Um, he was just really sort of sensible in his play. And then in the second half, when spaces started to open, when Leicester started to take a couple more risks, we started to see the real, what you know, what we've seen on the YouTube highlights, what we've seen on Transfer yeah, yeah, Market, yeah. what we've seen on Wikipedia, what we all know about and what we're excited, what suggests a 50 million signing. Um, and I mean, as far as the debut goes, you know, 2-0 to Leicester, I thought his performance was really good. I don't think he gave the ball away once tonight. It was really, really impressive. Really yeah, impressive. Shot at it, and a shot at after he mowed at the bar was a peach as well, yeah, wasn't it? Beauty, bounced yeah. up and his technique was perfect. That mow one by the way. That, that come after about what felt like about 15 minutes of domination. Yeah. They just, the only time they touched the ball, he got two blocks in on the left hand, well, the right hand side, our right hand side, their left. And we just passed it and passed it and passed it. And I said to me, mate, this is going to be one of them ones where they count the passes after and it's about 5,000 passes before the goal. Hello Reds, thanks for watching that taster of the post-match pint. If you want to watch the rest of that video, really easy to watch it right here on YouTube. 
just click the join button below that activates the membership it gives you access to the Anfield apps premium videos which includes the post-match pint but also reviews previews exclusive interviews and it means you can follow us follow them from here the heart of Liverpool